We have an ammeter in parallel with the shunt resistor R, and the ammeter itself has a resistance RA. We can label the current through the ammeter IA and the current through the resistor IR, and the total current entering the circuit is I in. As the components are in parallel, we know that the voltage across them must be the same. Therefore, from Ohm's law, we can write that IA times RA is equal to IR times R. We also know from Kirchhoff's current law that I in equals IA plus IR. We now have enough information to find an expression for R in terms of IA, RA and I in. Substituting in the maximum allowed value of IA gives us the value of R which is needed.